Live on Instagram, live on Facebook. Hi, guys. Facebook, what's up, what's up, what's up? How we doing today? Don't let the gloomy weather get to you. Let's get a good workout in, get the energy levels up. We're doing Facebook, we're doing Instagram, and we're starting to do YouTube today. Yes, we're going on to YouTube as well to facilitate the process of us loading that video onto Wi-Fi for you guys. <coughs> YouTube today as well. Um, so welcome guys. Uh, this is day number three of our uh, online live training. Um, once again, thank you for joining us. Thank you for your consistency. Um, thank you for continuing to post. Uh, and thank you for being a community, not only a stronger together community, not only within these walls here, but within your neighborhood. Okay, that's what we're all about. Um, is to show people who we really are. Um, obviously, we love to work out, but we're much more than that. Um, we are a community outside of this gym as well. So if you have friends, family, you feel like you're going through a tough time through this, definitely encourage them to jump on. I know that this is mostly intended for you guys as our members, um, but feel free to invite them as well to jump onto these live training sessions. They will not have access to this video um, after today, uh, because they don't, they do not have a Wi-Fi app, but at least they can follow us on a daily basis. Um, so once again, welcome. Thank you for everything, and we, we are trying our best, and uh, we are on three platforms now, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Um, you can find us all under the CrossFit Collaboration if you search under that. Uh, so yeah, before we get going, I don't know what to say. All I know is I'm super sore, guys. I hope you yes. guys are sore because that means we're actually working out hard. You guys are doing great. The post on Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. The posts are great. So keep that up. Don't stop that. The more you can post. Oh, Ow! How's your back? My back is sore. on Facebook right now. Yes, I can. Um, so definitely bust out that barbell. We're going to use it today. We will. Use uh, it today. Yeah. I know we're all excited for that. I can't wait to get on to do this. Just to make sure that we're all going through different uh, scale versions. Or just, I'm going to be using the barbell, the kettlebell, and the dumbbell throughout each round of the movement so we can all see different things like how it's done. Yes. Yes. Uh, so with that said, uh, just like Bill mentioned, depending on the equipment that you have, Pick the variation of workout that you're going to do um, before you actually start the workout, right? Make sure you have a game plan before you start the workout, uh, and we'll tell you what equipment is needed. You get that equipment, and now you have a game plan on how to attack that workout. As Bill mentioned, he's going to go over the different variations of different movements, whether it be load bearing or um, body weight movement, okay? Uh, moving the body weight motion, we still want you to try to get a little bit uh, of weight. So I'm going to give you about 30 seconds to go and find something that weighs anywhere between 5 to 10 pounds. You can grab uh, just some sort of bottle, water bottle, can, something for a couple of the movements that we're going to do. You will need two of them. Okay? Bang, something. Uh, we are going to be doing flies. Um, so definitely grab that if you are electing to go with the solely body weight uh, approach today. Um, definitely grab at least something that weighs about five pounds. And we're also going to be using that for the warm up as well. Okay? So make 
Make sure you grab that and you're ready to go. I'm gonna give you about another 10 to 15 seconds to get that. About 10 more seconds for you to find uh, that equipment that's going to be needed. Dumbbell, kettlebell, barbell busted out, and two five to 10 pound objects, whatever you have within your household. So post in the comments if there's any movements that maybe you guys want to see in the next couple workouts. We'll input, we'll input what you guys want to. So any movements you guys want to see, you have know, the presses, man makers, you know, all that good yeah. stuff. Just throw <laughs> that in there. We'll throw it in, I promise. Man makers. <laughs> Rich said, what's up? What's up, Rich? What's up, Rich? Rich? Uh, okay. So, hey Rich, uh, you can come in, do a workout if you like. Yeah, you can run a class if you want. Yeah, come on in. Hey, hey, hey. All right, <laughs> so, um, hopefully you guys took our notes from yesterday. You guys are writing your, your workout down or have some sort of platform to take a look at the workout while you're watching our live stream. Um, if not, go ahead and write it down as I break down the warm-up. So today's warm-up is going to be two rounds. 200 meter run or 250 meter row. I'm gonna give an alternative movement uh, for that if you can't run or row. And then we're gonna do uh, a new bit, a new movement that Bill came up with, uh, which he just showed me a couple minutes ago, and I think it's wonderful. And I just um, posted it on Facebook, so if you check yes, it out. Yes, he also did post it on Facebook about 20 minutes ago uh, to give me an idea what it is, but we'll walk you through it uh, once again. It's going to be a hamstring walkout stretch, so kind of like an inch mark, into a cobra stretch, into a stepping lunge. And you can do all that for your right foot, and then you can do it all over again for your left foot. Okay? Um, after that, with those objects that you have, uh, those two five pound to ten pound objects, we're going to be doing some arm circles, uh, small arm circles, and big arm circles. And then we're finishing it off with a little bit of hip action, a little hip thrusting going on. Uh, 20 no, almost, funny business yes, on that with me. Yes. Preferably with your clothes on. I know you guys are at home. Okay, but we're I don't want any means. Make sure my hip movement at all. Make sure you're working out with clothes on. I know we're just jumps. For safety reasons, have your clothes on, please. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and go into our uh, first part of the warm up. We're going to go into a 200 meter run or a 250 meter row. I'm going to let Bill jump on that rower since I know he's been missing a killer on the rower. Wanted want any excuse to jump on it. So I'm going to let him jump on that rower. Everybody else, what I want you guys to do very similar to yesterday's workout is I just want you to run in place. Give me about 30 complete steps up and down, high knees. Pump those arms straight up and down. Do that. 30. Zero, 30 total steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All you need is 30 while Bill finishes his 250 meter row. Miss that sound. Miss that sound. Get the heart rate going a little bit. If you're done already with your 30, while we wait for Bill, go ahead and go get some jumping jacks in. If you want to make it a little bit more difficult, some mountain climbers. And you just get the heart rate elevated a little bit, warm up those hips, that back. Keep it going, not burpees. I mean, you could do burpees, you've done enough burpees though. Karen wants to do burpees. Karen wants to do burpees. Karen's been killing the burpees. Karen, uh, I want to give the props. Been doing every single workout thus far, I think. Uh, so she is at 100% with our at home live session, so thank you for that. Alright, next movement, Bill's movement. You're going to do that inchworm walk out. You're going to get into that cobra stretch. After you're in that cobra stretch, you're just going to lunge out of it with your right foot. Do it again. Cobra stretch, inchworm cobra stretch. Left foot, lunge out of it, stand up. Go ahead and do that for a total of six movements or three per leg. Good. Make sure you get that deep cobra stretch in, right? Don't just go into that motion or into that movement. Once you get there, stretch, and then step out of it. Good. If you're stepping out of it, you're feeling a little tight on those hamstrings, I mean on those hip flexors, go ahead and stay down there a little bit, get that deep little stretch, and then step out of it. Very good. If you guys have any questions, comments, we got Christy on uh, the tech behind the scenes.
scenes. So feel free to reach out, share related information to us uh, with anything you need. Alright guys, thanks for coming. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, once you're done with that, go ahead and grab your two objects, lightweight objects, two and a half, five, ten pounds. Sorry, I'm out of the image here. And we're going to do little arm circles, okay? Little arm circles, we're going to go forward. Ten. That was now. I showed you guys did the variations yep. of what you can do. And then ten backward with the same movement, small circles, going backwards. So ten forward, ten back. There you go. Make sure you squeeze those shoulder blades up top. Good. All right, relax. I know the shoulders get tired. We're going to do the exact same thing all over again, but now bigger circumference on that circle. We're going to go all the way around. Ten going back, squeezing those shoulder blades. And then ten coming forward. I had to forward a little bit think about building. Good point. Yeah. <laughs> Get those rotator cuffs going nice and warmed up. I'm sure they're a little sore with all the movements that we've been doing. We see that Bill brought his heart rate monitor today. Um, so we're going to fill that up on the screen right now in a little bit. All right. Next movement that we're going to go into is we want to make sure that we warm up those hips. We want to be about uh, shoulder width apart with, those, with that stance. If you want, you can put your hands on your hip. And we're just doing a nice fluid motion. Notice how Bill is coming all the way down to get that full hip extension. No right laughing, no back. laughing from the peanut gallery over there. Oh, wow. I only got into two and there's already laughter. Full circle, full circle. You need to do 10 in one direction and then 10 in the other. Get a little bit of music on. Oh, we don't have any music for this type of workout. Yeah.
large circles, 10 going back, 10 going forward. Make sure that you're squeezing that shoulder blade at the top of the movement. And as you come back, yep, show off the back muscles. And you can see them definitely working there. Once you finish your arm circles, you can go into your hip circles. Christina Squat stance. Is with us. Christina Quiroz and Paula said she's briefing for later. All right. Oh, you're in for a good one. You guys are in for a good one. Today we have a good mom. Rina says, I'm watching you guys. The camera got right now. Please keep it up, though. All right. Hit motion, hit motion. And we are out. <laughs> going over Facebook. Facebook's <laughs> Facebook still going live. Instagram and YouTube. Uh, little technical. I just dropped to the ground. It's just a little earthquake. Yeah. 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 You know. <laughs> Bill jumped and <laughs> going on. Uh, I think they were yours. <laughs> Alright, once you guys are done with that, we are going to do a little bit of stretching uh, for those rotator cuffs. I know you guys are a little sore. So here's what I want you guys to do. If you have uh, some sort of ball uh, or a cat, whatever it might be, I'm going to have Bill use the can as well. Bill just says she saw everything. Use <laughs> the can, can of corn, can of beans, whatever, or can of bank, and a ball, baseball, softball, lacrosse ball, whatever it is. What we're going to do is we're going to lay down on the ground and we're going to attack uh, the rotator cuff. So a little bit part of the pec into our shoulder. And we're just going to wiggle side to side. Once we're there, just loosen it up, um, and then we're going to do that with the other arm. This is going to be really quick, it's going to be about 30 seconds per side, so you're going to see Bill going down there, placing his body on top of that ball, and then just rolling it around. Now, what do you do with that arm? With that arm, you can wiggle it up and down, move it up and down, just to make sure you get that full range of motion, that way uh, you're attacking everything in that rotator cuff. Uh, it might be a little bit painful, especially because we have been working uh, that part of our body out a lot lately with these at home movements. So it's very important and very smart to definitely attack it uh, and loosen that up a little bit, all right? Really feels awesome. great. Yeah, you can tell by his face. If you guys can see that, it feels amazing. Um, get that lactic acid release. It's all good. So we're going to do it for about another. If you have a switch, go ahead and switch. I never would have thought the hip thrusters would have been better than this. We're going to do this for about another 15 seconds uh, before I brief you on today's workout, uh, the EMOM. So EMOM stands for every minute on the minute, and we're going to do that for 20 minutes. Each minute you have a different movement that we are assigning, uh, and a rep scheme that we're assigning. So you'll have a minute to complete each movement and every rep assigned, and then the remainder of the minute you may rest until the top of the minute. At the top of each minute, you are starting that new movement. Okay? Good. Let's do some extra work. Or oh, you're explaining it. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess I should just explain while I do that. Um, so, the EMOM for today, our four movements are deadlift. Okay? So, we're going to have ten deadlifts. Uh, if you use the, if you are using a dumbbell or a kettlebell, you're doing ten deadlifts per arm. So you're gonna have your right arm. You do ten deadlifts. You're gonna switch, and then you're gonna do ten with your left arm. Okay. So for that deadlift, once again, at the beginning of the workout on a three, two, one, go, what Bill will be doing is ten deadlifts with his right arm, full range of motion, keeping that back tight, trying not to reach with his shoulder. Okay. So that by reaching with the shoulder creates that round effect on the upper back. Okay, and he's also dropping the hip a little bit. Ten with your right arm, ten with your left arm. You will have one minute to complete this motion. Notice how Bill is dropping that hip. This is very important. What you don't want to be doing is doing that stiff-legged deadlift, which then concentrates the whole motion in the middle of your back. Okay. Oh my God! Who does? Nobody does that here, right? Now. All right, so that's your first movement. So once again, you will have a minute to complete 10 per arm, uh, or 20 total if you are using that barbell. So this is where we're gonna have the opportunity to use that barbell. We're busting up that weight, load that barbell, and we are doing the deadlifts. The exact same range of motion, okay? Everything applies, but now we have both arms grabbing onto the object, and we are doing 20 total reps in 
one minute. Okay? So you will have to move fairly quickly. With the remainder of the minute, you may rest. At the top of the next minute, we are doing elbow to arm plank. Left and right is one. So this is what that would look like. You're going to drop down to the ground at the top of the minute. Okay, and then you're going to drop both elbows down to the ground and then uh, extend those arms straight up, both. Okay, left and right, or right and left is one. Right, left, one. Okay, right, left, two. Make sure you have a mat, something to protect your elbows. Yes, please, towel, put a towel down or something like that. Be right back. So that is movement number two, okay? Movement number three is a bent over row. Um, once again, you may use the barbell for this. This is a great movement to use a barbell. If you don't have a barbell, we're going to use the dumbbell. Okay, so Bill is going to start off with that barbell bent over row. You want to make sure you have a slight little bend in that knee, and you want to hinge at the hip. Okay, you want to try to get as close to 90 as possible, not too much right there. And then all you're doing is a solely arm workout, and you drive that barbell straight into your chest. Not your belly button, not your throat, okay? But your chest, right? That sternum, uh, aim for those nipples, all right? Straight to that chest. <laughs> all right, if you do not have a barbell, you're using a dumbbell or a kettlebell, you're just same concept. You're bending over, a uh, little bend in the knees, hinge at the hip, and you're pulling that straight up. Now with that dumbbell, you're pulling it straight into your rib cage or to the outer part of your rib cage, all right? For that, you're going to be doing 10 per arm. Yes, do not rotate those shoulders. You want those shoulders staying square that whole time. Okay? You are not moving those shoulders. Uh, 10 per arm or 16 total reps if you're using a barbell. Okay? So 10 per arm or 16 if you're using a barbell. Finally, uh, the last movement for today, which is movement number four or minute number four, is going to be the push press. So Bill is going to start off with that barbell again. For that push press, you want to start in that front rack position, elbows slightly forward, core is engaged, everything is locked out. Okay. For this push press, what we're looking for is a two inch dip. Okay. With the hip, so what that means is that that hip is only really dropping down two inches. Okay. That's all you need to generate explosion to drive that barbell up and overhead. That barbell cap goes straight up and then behind you. So it's a diagonal movement going up and back. Okay. Not straight up going forward. Okay. Up and back. All right. Get your head out of the way. Barbell goes up. Okay. Uh, so that's your push press. Uh, if you're using a dumbbell or a kettlebell, you're doing that same motion. You're doing eight per arm, same dip, exploding with that leg, driving straight up, not out in front of you, eight per arm, or 16 total with that uh, barbell. Okay? You're doing using a uh, kettlebell, same concept, dip, drive, protect those forearms. All right? So that's what we're going to build. Do you have any questions on those movements? You pretty much did the whole workout already. <laughs> Is that round one? Is that <laughs> Alright, so here's what we're going to do. Hopefully you guys have a good visual of our clock. Okay? Our clock here is going to dictate when we start the next movement. Once again, it's every minute on the minute. So at the top of every minute, we're starting that new movement. And we're doing this for a total of 20 minutes. In other words, we're doing four rounds of this. Okay? Deadlift, elbow to arm plank, bench over row, and push press. Okay? Once you finish the push press, you go back to the top to those deadlifts and you continue that going for a total of 20 minutes. So let me make sure I get this clock going. Oh, Bill already got it going. Yeah, good to go. 20 rounds. Uh, yeah, 20 rounds. A minute around. Okay, 20 rounds. A minute around. We're not done yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The scale versions. The scale versions for the. Uh, what do we start off with? The deadlift? Yeah, the deadlifts are toe taps. So right. the deadlifts are right. okay. They're toe tap deadlifts. So that's going to look like this, Carlos. You can take over. Alright, good. So for those toe tap deadlifts, all we're doing is we're dropping down. We're extending that range of motion that we, that we normally would with weight, but that's okay because this is not a load bearing movement. We're driving all the way down, making sure that we're touching the ground, almost like a squat, but our chest is forward a little bit. And our chest is upright. Okay? Another incorrect way to do it is if you're just using your lower back to hinge down, you want to make sure that you get into uh, dropping that hip a little bit. Okay? So that's going to be the variation for uh, the deadlift. Okay? So toe tap, 
movement, you're still doing all 20 with that. It might be a little bit easier, a little bit faster, uh, but that's okay. All right, next one, elbow to arm plank. That remains the same, okay? Next movement, if you're using lighter weights and you don't have a dumbbell or a kettlebell for your bench over rows, you're gonna do a bench over fly, okay? All you're doing is starting with that weight out in front of you. You still have that same hinge as you were doing a bench over row, uh, but instead of coming straight up with your elbow pinching to your ribcage, you're actually driving that weight out and to the side. Get that full range of motion. You want it to go beyond your chest as you're coming out. All right, and then finally that last movement for that push press. Uh, if you're doing uh, a no load workout, so a body weight workout, you're going to do. Do the pike one first. You want to do the pike one? Okay, we're doing the pike one. Pike version first. So that's just the hinge at the hip. You want your butt up in the air. Okay head down between your shoulders. You want to focus more so on your shoulders, okay? This is not like a regular push-up, okay? Focus more on the shoulders than your chest. Go ahead and do a regular push-up really quick. Okay, that's a regular push-up there. We don't want to, to do that because that isolates your chest a little bit more, where here is more tricep and shoulders. So make sure that you are getting your butt up in the air and your head between the shoulders. Just doing those two little things is going to concentrate uh, on your shoulders just a little bit more, okay? Uh, if that gets a little too difficult, what we can do now is elevate our feet on top of a couch, a chair, something, and now we can do what's very similar to a regular push-up, okay? Same thing, we're going to focus and that will concentrate a little bit of that load onto your shoulders a little bit more, all right? And those for, for those that do need to modify a little bit more, it's a chair push-up or a push-up onto your couch, okay? So this is couch? Couch. Can I go lay on it? No, you should not lay on it. Not yet, not until you're done. All right, so we gotta get this going to so make sure that we finish within that 45 minute cap. Uh, any questions, any other questions? Thank you for the reminder on the, on the body weight movements. I'm good. Good, all right. You guys should be warm, ready to go. I'm fine, I'm fine. Right. It's just like another day in the office. Take it nice and slow. Take it nice and slow. All I'm right. Sure more of a Here we go. 10 second countdown. Nervous me. Five, we're starting off with those deadlifts, deadlifts. Three, two, one, go. So, on the deadlifts, you want to make sure you get that forward in motion, make sure you're dropping that hip. And drop that hip. If you're using a barbell, you're doing 20 reps. 20 reps on that barbell. If you're using a kettlebell or a dumbbell, 10 reps per arm. Make sure you drop that hip. Okay, drive from those heels when you stand up, explode, push that hip forward at the top. Four range of motion, standing all the way up. Very good, Bill did all 20 with about 30 seconds to rest. Okay, rest the remainder of a minute before you go on to the next movement. The next movement is elbow to arm plank. Okay, you have to move pretty quickly on this one as well. Uh, you have a whole minute to complete a total of 10. Left and right is one. Bill, you got less than 10 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Minute number two. Here we go. Minute number two. You want to make sure you try to stay in that plank. Don't drive your butt up too high in the air or vice versa, not too low. A good way to also modify this is you may drop down onto your knees as long as you stay in the solid plank, okay? Left and right is one, right and left is one. Very good, thank you, Bill. That was 10, knock those out, okay? You have over 30 seconds to rest for this one. Emons are intended to rest, so it's intended for you to go all out during your time that you're moving with the intention of giving you some time to rest, okay? With the intention of giving you some time to rest. Why did it Oh, baby, time. Fifteen seconds. Next movement: bend, bent over row. Either ten per arm. If you're using dumbbell or kettlebell. Sixteen if you're using a barbell. Bill's elected to go with the dumbbell for the first round. And go. Good. Notice how he's also using his free hand. You have something to support yourself in to make sure that you keep that solid stance. Uh, go ahead and do so. Once again, because the only focus is on 
arm that arm that's actually moving. So we are isolating our arm today. I know we like to work full body movements with most of our, our, our work that we do, but for today we do want to isolate that arm for this specific movement, okay? So that's the focus is that arm and that side of the back. 10 per arm, you have 30 seconds. People at home, you still have 30 seconds to rest before we start our next movement. Uh, our final movement for round number one is a push press. Okay, dumbbell push press is eight per arm. If you're using a barbell, it's a total of 16. Woo, this is a big weight, 135. That was my first round. <laughs> I tell you, teasing me, teasing me, man. Just one. Well, we clarified the number of steps. Three, two, one, go. Barbell, dumbbell, or kettlebell, okay, driving with those legs. 
exhausting, especially this movement here, which attacks the core. But once again, try to keep that core nice and tight by driving that hip down. Okay, don't let that hip come up too much. Okay, that's only for the pipe press where you want that hip to come up. Very good. You got it, Bill. You got it. <laughs> you got something. <laughs> you got something. <laughs> 30 seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> what do we have left? Final movement? Oh no. Third movement. Bent over row. Bent over row. Once again. Dumbbell kettlebell. You are doing 10 per arm. Uh, if you're using that barbell, go for 16 with that barbell. Will you give it a 10? Four by four, four by four. In three, two, one, go. Guys, get in the row. You don't have to do all of them unbroken, okay? Just make sure that you finish them all within the minute. Preferably about 40 seconds to give yourself 20 seconds of rest. Nice, good work, good work. Strong, 16 total. 16 total bent over rows. And if you're at home doing the, the body weight version, two cans. And doing flies. Okay. 16 total. How much time do we have? Got about 25 seconds. 20 seconds. Good. Nice tight back. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Use those arms. Use those big arms. Big arms. 10 seconds. Push press. Push press, push press, movement number four or four movements is a push press and go. Weight on your shoulders, dip and drive overhead. Eight per arm or 16 total. If you're using that barbell, 16 total. Okay, once again, that barbell might be a little bit challenging, especially for this movement. Feel free to break up the reps as necessary. Just make sure that you're finishing within that minute. We are in the latter part of our workout. Oh boy, good work. Good work. Okay, 25 seconds. 12 minutes and. Two rounds left. Two rounds left. Two total rounds left. Run back to that deadlift. In 10 seconds. Keep good for, stay tight, pinch that on the back. Five, I do this three, here? two, go for it. One, go. Good. Pinch that on the back tight, keep those shoulder blades as you're going through this movement. Drop that hip, and you're not going to that Romanian deadlift. Do not go into the Romanian stiff leg deadlift. You still want to be bending over the legs. 20 reps. Nice hinge at the hip, driving that hip back, making sure that it keeps 
that back nice and straight, and that whole motion is pretty much just that arm moving up and down, okay? Dumbbell goes into his rib cage on the outer part of his rib cage. Okay, all the isolated movement, all the way going on. 35 seconds to rest, Bill. Good job, great work, great form. 10 per arm on that, or 16 total if you're using the barbell. <coughs> push press is next, push press is next. You're doing 8 per arm if you're using dumbbell or kettlebell. 16 if you're using that barbell. Pike press if you're going body weights. Okay, pike press if you're going body weight, you got 7 seconds built. Go for that pike press, then do the 3, 2, 1, go! I'm happy you decided to go for the pike press here because I want you guys to see what this actually looks like. Okay, you're going to see that hip butt is up in the air, you got that nice V action going with that hip. Head stays in between those shoulders, so he's looking behind him, he's not looking to the ground, he's looking between his legs. Okay? That's crucial to make sure that that movement is isolating those shoulders and taking uh, that load away from your chest. Okay? Yeah. Even the pike yeah. you, you know he's doing it right, right? You know he's doing it right. I think Bill struggled a little bit on this one, which is good. That's what I want to see, right? You don't have to, these are not intended for, to, to be done unbroken. Okay? At this point, oh, really? yeah. <laughs> at this point, I'm not, I'm not going to be like you, what you did to me yesterday, ever here to be unbroken. This is not intended to be unbroken, guys. Okay? Uh, remember, you have a minute to finish it, so however you need to break it up to finish it, but finish within that minute, okay? Pike press is done, push press is done. Uh, so we're going to go back to the top, we got our final four minutes, going into that deadlift. Good, nice, thank you, Bill. The weight, body weight version is that toe touch, okay? Notice how he's not hinging uh, at the hip only, he is dropping that butt, bending those knees, okay? He's not reaching with the shoulders either. His arms stay in that same position. Imagine that they're just straps, okay? They're ropes, and you just have to touch the ground with those, okay? So you use your hips, your knees, and you bring down your chest a tiny bit to make sure that those arms touch the ground. And it's 20 reps. 20 reps, whether you're doing the toe taps, a barbell, or a dumbbell. All the same thing, 20 reps. Very good, 20 seconds. Oh, you did one good <laughs> all right. <laughs> Elbow to arm plane. This is the last time we're doing each of these movements, guys. We're giving your all on this last round. Elbow to arm plank in three, two, one, go. Nice solid plank. This is the time where you want to be really focusing on that core. Hit nice and low. Get that plank going. If you want to challenge yourself and you have any children, tell them to sit on your backs. So Phil does not have any smaller children. Oh, I finished just in time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, sorry guys. That was awful. Got it. Yeah, that was done. All right, next movement. Second to last movement, bent over row. Bent over row or flats. Yeah, bent over row or flats. How much time do we have? We got about 15 seconds, Bill. Catch your breath. For those of you that are just finishing up this movement right now at home, catch your breath, okay? If you're finishing this movement up with not too much time, it's okay, keep on working through because we only have a couple more minutes left. Three, two, one, go! Bill's doing those flies. Okay, similar starting stance as that bent over row. A little bend in the knees, uh, hinge in the hip, pushing the hip back, chest coming down a little bit, okay? Similar, similar setup position, only difference is since we don't have as much weight, we want to make sure that we go into those flies, making the movement a little bit more challenging versus that row where you're pulling that weight into your chest. Okay? Very good. Nice. Good. You want to reset after every rep of knee just to make sure that you keep that core stability. Okay? Hold that breath, breathe in, pull it, finish that movement. Alright, are we on to our last movement? Last movement of the day, push press. Push press coming up for the final movement. You got 15 seconds, eight per arm. To finish off, use those legs, guys, especially in this last round. I challenge you 10. 10, ten. ooh, 10, ten. 10 per arm. Or 20 total if you're using the barbell. Nice. All right, all right, go. 10 per arm, hip and drive, good. You guys can't see his face over here, what he's doing, but he is holding his breath uh, in between every rep, okay? Once again, it's that force ability to make sure that that chest stays 
upright while he's going through that motion and he's not hinging forward out as he's completing that, that movement. So what I want to see is chest stays upright, dip and drive, but I want to see this and then driving up, okay? Chest stays straight up, dip and drive up overhead. <laughs> Bill challenge everyone to 10 per arm or to 6, so versus to 8, and he is done. You guys have a couple more seconds to finish up your reps. You got 20 seconds to finish all your reps if you're accepting Bill's challenge. Once again, it's 10 per arm for this final round, and you have 10 seconds, plenty of time for you guys to finish all the reps within that minute. Okay, you guys should be finishing up by now, probably on the ground like Bill is. Trying to recover in time. Good work. We are at that 45 minute time cap or 45 minute cap time. Um, we try to keep everything within 45 minutes. I like to talk a lot, so I went over a little bit. Uh, but you guys are doing a wonderful job. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email us or comment on any of these videos and we will get back to you ASAP. All right? If you have any other questions, you know where to reach us. Cool down stretch, cool down stretch. Cool down stretch, hamstrings, guys. We'll stretch out those hamstrings. A lot of bending over today. Stretch out those hamstrings in that lower back. We love you guys. Continue being the community outside of the gym. All right? See you guys. See ya.